Hey, what's up guys, CP Nichols here, and today is Bank Holiday Monday, and I've just come back from two car boot sales, and I have bought a lot of stuff. Um, I spent a grand total of around £35 on all this stuff. So the first car boot sale I went to, I uh, bought a load of video game stuff from this one stall. Uh, I spent a grand total of £20 on the stall. Uh, first off, I bought a DS Lite um, charger. I did ask the seller, did they have the DS Lite console? And they said they just sold it. So I was a little annoyed that they didn't have the console, but got the charger nonetheless. I needed a charger anyway. So there's that. Um, I bought a load of Nintendo DS games from the store. Uh, first off, Lego Batman the video game. Complete with game and manual. Lego Harry Potter years one to four. Complete with game and manual. Lego Star Wars the complete saga. Complete with game and manual. Super Mario 64 DS. Complete with game and manual. Uh, I've been I've researched this and this is does sell for quite a high price on Amazon. So, uh, you never know, this could actually pay for the entire lot. Worms Open Warfare, complete with game and manual. Chronicles of Narnia, Prince Caspian, complete with game and manual. Puzzle World 2011, complete with game and manual. Puzzle Collection, complete with game and manual. DreamWorks Madagascar, complete with game and manual. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, complete with game and manual. I think this might be a bit of a pricey game. Mario games usually are for Nintendo DS, so you never know. Uh, Mario and Sonic at the Winter Olympic Games. Unfortunately, this does not have a manual, so this may lower the price for it. But nonetheless, it's... Um, it's it's got the game, so there you go. Uh, got a load of PS2 games. Uh, Disney's Pixar Cars. Unfortunately, this does not have the disc. So I might be able to sell the manual, but there may not be a point. It, without the game, it's not worth a lot. Again, DreamWorks Madagascar for PS2. Whoever had this before, definitely liked the film. And for all areas of the video game, it comes complete with the game and manual. Um, FIFA World Cup Germany 2006, complete with game and manual. The Hobbit, complete with game and manual. Looks interesting. Uh, I'm not sure if I'd keep it, but it might be an interesting game. Uh, SpongeBob SquarePants the movie, uh, complete with game and manual. Manual looks a bit um, worn and wrinkled, and the case is a bit damaged here. Uh, open Season, complete with Game and Manual, got a pre-owned sticker on it. Uh, Disney Pixar's The Incredibles, complete with Game and Manual, another pre-owned sticker on it. Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, complete with Game and Manual. Legend of Spyro, A New Beginning, complete with Game and Manual. Spyro games tend to go for a lot, so I'm not sure if this is worth a lot. Gonna have to research that one. Uh, Indiana Jones: The Original Adventures, complete with game and manual. I think I might hold on to this one because this one is actually a good game, so I might keep that. I used to actually have this a long time ago, back in the day, so I might hold on to this one. A uh, couple of Nintendo Wii games, Just Dance 2, complete with game and manual, and Sonic and the Secret Rings. Complete with game and manual, and I bought all this for £20 and they threw in um, Will Smith and Jaden Smith's After Earth DVD. Since I have not watched it before, I was curious, so I got them to throw in all that stuff for £20, so not a bad lot there. Um, I did buy one more thing from a different store, a um, PS3 controller. It is a, a Geotech VX1 PS3 controller. These usually retail on eBay for around £10. And I bought it for a pound, so 
a bit dusty, so I'll clean that up a bit and probably sell it for around a fiver. So got a small profit there. And that's it for the first car boot stall. The second car boot stall I went to, the second car boot sale I went to, uh, I bought two DVDs. They were doing DVDs on a stall for £1.50 per DVD. I um, bought two DVDs. They managed to give me a good deal at £2.50 for two DVDs. So instead of £1.50, it was £1.25 per DVD. Uh, first one, Conjuring 2. I got the first one on DVD. Which I adore. Uh, second one, I've I've only seen trailers too, so I'm looking forward to watching this. So, not a bad DVD. And I saw this at the cinema, the BFG. I enjoyed this. I did prefer the animation over the live action, the original animation. But um, this one was actually a pretty good film. So, yeah, I got that too. So, two pound fifty for those two DVDs, not too bad. Uh, this next lot. Um, it's quite a lot here. I bought this for £9. I spent £8 on the accessories and £1 on the box. Since I didn't have anything to carry the stuff in, they let me buy the box for a pound. Uh, first off here, we've got a Nintendo Wii balance board. Uh, when I bought this home, I opened up the battery casing and it was chock-a-block full of battery acid. And I was like, oh my god, this is not going to work. So after I spent about 15-20 minutes trying to clean the battery acid out, it still wouldn't work. So I got my dad to check the contacts inside all the springs and stuff, and um, he cleaned them up. And thank the Lord, it powers on. So these usually retail for around £10, so I've made my money back from this lot here, uh, from this balance board alone. So everything in this box is just gravy, just extra stuff that I can earn money with. Uh, first off here we've got a uh, Nintendo Wii wheel, looks like a reproduction one. Uh, the grip's quite nice on it so I might hold on to this one, looks like a nice reproduction. Uh, I've got two other steering wheels, these are not reproductions, these are official steering wheels for Nintendo Wii. Uh, these usually retail for about five pounds each, so I'll probably sell the the two for eight pounds. So not a bad deal there. Um, I got Nintendo Wii lightsaber, which I didn't even think you could get, but Nintendo Wii lightsaber, and I got not one but two holders for it. So there's obviously been two lightsabers in this box at one point, but there's only one left. So there's that. Uh, next up, we've got a Nintendo Wii charging stand that can charge uh, controllers and you can plug in the Nintendo Wii itself onto this, so uh, not bad. I might keep this for myself because since I don't actually have one of these, might be fun. Uh, I got a nunchuck in this little box. I'll sell that on since I already have one, I don't need another one. Has a silicone casing on it, so there's that. Speaking of silicone casings, there is three silicone cases for the Wii Remote. Uh, I think I already have one of these, uh, so I'll probably sell these on. Uh, another silicone case set for the remote and the nunchuck, so there's that. Uh, and I've got one. But two Nintendo Wii guns. These look like reproductions though, I'm not sure if they're official. But yeah, they look interesting. So I've got those. Uh, I got a Nintendo Wii Sports set here. Actually, I got two of them. First one, we've got this one. Uh, got a tennis racket with it, got a baseball bat, and a golf club. So I've got a Nintendo Wii Sports set here. And lastly, we've got another one. So we've got the control holder, we've got a golf club, we've got a bat, at least I think it's a bat, and a small test racket. So we've got a little set there. And then what's left in the box is a backing to something, maybe a Wii Remote, not sure. 
but there you go. Probably just chuck this out. I'm not. I don't have a use for it. Uh, and then the last stall I came to right before I was about to leave, um, they had a load of used video games, looked in pretty rough shape. So I asked them, do they have any portable consoles? Because I was a bit annoyed that I didn't get the DS Lite from the previous car boot. And they said, yes, we do. We have a DSi. So, uh, not DSi, DS Lite. Uh, and they showed me this. Um, it had stickers all over it originally, and I've just given it, I've taken all the stickers off and just given it a good polish. So th there's that. Doesn't have a stylus. Does have the Game Boy Advance slot though. So that's pretty cool. And it came with a Nintendo DS game. Phineas and Ferb. Not bad. Um, I asked how much they were doing it for. They'd say, uh, they said £2. I didn't even barter. Took it straight away. Doesn't have a stylus, but I can buy a stylus for it. And then sell it on. For a huge profit, I can probably sell this for around 20 quid. Uh, casings look, it looks a bit rough, but um, the console itself is in pretty good shape. The, the screen's um, not got any scratches, and the best part is it powers on. So there's that. Two pounds, not bad. And then, right as I was leaving the stall, I noticed this um, CD case. I said to them, um, how much would you do that for? And he said, a couple of pounds. So I was a bit cocky and said, would you do it for a pound? And he said, yes. So I was like, oh, brilliant. And then when I opened it up, it was full of CDs. Bought it for a pound. And it's chock-a-block full of CDs. That is insane. So that's pretty much everything that I bought. I spent about 35 pounds. Exactly 35 pounds and 50 pence. So... I did pretty well. I'm going to at least double my money with all this stuff. Some of the stuff I might keep as well. So, I did pretty well today. I'm really happy. So, if you want to see more of these videos, just uh, comment in the section below. Uh, if you want to see more. And don't forget to leave a like if you like the video. Uh, don't forget to click on the old subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And as always, catch you all later.